Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dread Time Stories. I'm your host, Dr. Phobia. And tonight, dear patients, our story teaches you to never judge a book by its cover. So sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's tale, Wheelchair. In 1984, there was an old woman who lived alone in a two-story mansion. The woman was paralyzed from the waist down, and she needed a wheelchair. She was completely immobile and unable to take care of herself. Ever since the death of her husband, she had a nurse who would visit her every day to help her with various tasks. What made it even more difficult was the fact that the two floors of the house were only connected by an old staircase. When the woman needed to move between the two floors, the nurse had to pick her up and carry her frail body like an infant down the stairs. One day, the police received a frantic phone call from the old widow. There had been a murder. Since police units were scarce in the area and the murderer had already fled the scene, Only one detective was sent out to conduct the initial crime scene report. When the detective arrived, he found the nurse lying on the floor in a pool of blood. Her arms and legs were splayed out at odd angles, and her throat had been ripped out. The old woman sat in her wheelchair at the top of the stairs, watching him, still and silent, seemingly in shock. He could immediately rule her out as a suspect due to her inability to move up and down the stairs because she was trapped up there at the time of the murder. It was similar to the death of her husband many years ago who had suffocated in his sleep on the couch downstairs. The detective put on his gloves, took photos, swabbed for evidence, and covered the body until the coroner arrived later. He searched every room downstairs, looking for clues. Then he asked the elderly woman if he could look upstairs. She insisted that she was upstairs the whole time, and no one apart from her had been up there that day. But regardless of this, the detective ascended the staircase, which she hesitantly moved aside. Beyond the staircase, there was a narrow corridor with three doors along it. He checked behind each of the doors. The empty bedroom, nothing. The bathroom, nothing. He became anxious as he moved his way into the final bedroom where the old lady had slept. He opened it and everything looked normal. A bed, a wardrobe, a bedside table with a lamp. He checked every wall of the room in horror as it was not what he discovered but it was what he didn't discover that made him stop dead in his tracks and slowly reach for his gun in its holster. It was a detail so minor that they had completely overlooked it on the last investigation of the death of the woman's husband. There was no phone upstairs. The detective pulled his gun and rushed down the corridor, and when he came to the top of the stairs... All he found was an empty wheelchair. That, dear patience, was Wheelchair. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for listening. Like I always say in closing, check under your bed, look in your closet, and sleep with the light on. The life you save may very well be your own. Good night, everyone.